All right, we'll do a quick video here. Sunday afternoon. Been plugging away at the old uh, 1934 Chevy. I do have the 216 in there finally. Worked out pretty slick. I uh, suppose I should have taken a picture of that beforehand, but for the throw up bearing on a 34, they don't have a traditional throw up bearing. It's just got a hunk of carbon fiber or something. So this is the uh, bearing plate that's on the transmission. So there's actually no sleeve here to hold the uh, throw-up bearing. So to get away from that, and then to use the later bell housing clutch and throw-up bearing assembly, you have to dig up, and I think it was a 38 to 42, one ton, two ton, four speed or three, I forget now, I got it written down. But that bearing retainer actually bolts right onto that three speed in a 34. And now it has that, you know, sleeve on here, like you can put a throw up bearing on. And that worked out slick. And then the bell housing had to be a 4041 Chevy pickup, which I got. And that bolted directly to that transmission. It would have been better if I had a 39. Chevy pickup transmission out of a half ton three speed so that's a better transmission it would have bolted in here right to the torque tube and all that stuff but we didn't have that <clears throat> but this works it's in now you just gotta make motor mounts so I'll make two mounts off of the front part of the uh, bell housing here on both sides and I'll make a new mount in the front because just like everybody said, the 216 is actually shorter than what that 207 would have been. So that's kind of cool. Still got to clean the side cover and the valve cover. But the pan was off. Checked everything in the bottom. Everything looked good. Clean the oil pan because that's always full of ick. Still got to clean the distributor up. Adjusted the valves. At least it's a cold adjustment. I'll get it hot and I'll do one more adjustment on it. Once I get the motor mounts figured out, then we'll <clears throat> figure out <clears throat> radiator, <clears throat> radiator and water pump, and uh, on to the intake and exhaust. So little by little, it's getting there. Just a lot of research, a lot of, a lot of cleaning, <clears throat> getting stuff ready. But that's what I got going on. Uh, shop's a disaster. I got parts and parts and more parts everywhere. So I got this workbench a mess, and that workbench over there is a mess. So yeah. And we're trying out the new phone, so this may not even work for all I know. But uh, let's see what happens. Seems to be pretty cool. It's got a nice picture I'm looking at. Hopefully it uploads that clear. But with that, I gotta keep crack-a-lacking here, boys. So talk to you later.